The three candidates had to convince Scottish National Party members on two main issues. They could deliver independence and use their current powers to improve life for Scottish people. For frontrunner Hamza Youssef, that meant building on the Scottish government's legacy. As your first minister, I will build on our government's radical and progressive agenda. For his opponents, it meant distancing themselves from that legacy. The SNP has lost its way. There's been no progress on independence. It's time for change. Continuity won't cut it. Yusuf's stewardship of a crisis-hit health service gave his cabinet colleague an opportunity for one of the most confrontational moments of the debate. When you were transport minister, the trains were never on time. When you were justice minister, the police were strained to breaking point. And now, as health minister, we've got record high waiting times. What makes you think you can do a better job as first minister? We are the only nation not to have had NHS strikes. This contest was sparked by the surprise resignation last month of First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. she just had a high-profile bill on reforming gender recognition in Scotland struck down by a veto by the UK government. Something Hamza Youssef is pledging to challenge in court, unlike Kate Forbes. Yusuf implicitly alluding to her devout Christian faith. Let me just be honest, because it is about honesty. It is your opposition to the GRR bill, which I respect because there's differences of opinions on this panel. If this was any other bill, you would be standing up to the UK government Not at all. and blocking it. Because well, you my, approach stand up here, my approach democracy. here is that if we were independent, we wouldn't be asking anybody's permission. While the contest has been dominated so far by differences on social policy and public services, the overarching purpose of the SNP remains to gain independence from the British government here at Westminster. But with recent opinion polls in Scotland suggesting a clear margin against independence, there'll be plenty of ground to make up on the party's core mission for its new leader. The independence question did take up most of the time in this debate, Ash Reagan arguing that winning an absolute majority for the SNP at the ballot box provided a better chance than persuading the UK government to hold another referendum. A referendum really is just another way to use the ballot box. And a referendum is not the gold standard. The ballot box is the gold standard. Hamza Youssef argued he was best placed to stand up to Westminster. Kate Forbes that it was about showing economic competence and persuading the unpersuaded. None of you has told uh, your membership how we you're going the to deliver it. The candidates have just under three weeks to make that clearer. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, London.